Yes, he did what he wanted. He had sex with me and took my virginity. And then one thing led to another. He raped me. And so now we start to break the silence. We begin to tell our stories as slow and as painful and as anonymous as they are. organization estimates that 35% of women have experienced sexual violence. In fact, the WHO calls the issue Black Lady Fide, but can go best tackle again, but you can't go back to the hospital. You can't from Monday to Sunday, seven days of the week. Monday to Saturday, you can't go back to the hospital. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, you can go back to 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Bouja, Sendawal Halal. Nagu Reumi, Khalu Reumi, Lenyi Jel, Dadi Lenkoy, Tefakal Bumubak, pour yen askanwi. Central Bouja, Daulen Gao Woutilen, Daulen Gao Setilen. Central Bouja, Chebitulo, Mungelen Wot, 303-8761, 303-8761. Wallabok, 258-9583. Kongay, Daulen Gao Legile, Central Bouja, Fofu Kessel. Si vous voulez que vous ayez un sel, 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 un sel. Dorn tout ça central butcher, central butcher, amener une nari macan. Ne gâtez qu'à rabat avant du jacker lock africain. Wante wa central butcher, dénier ibil macan gubes. Central butcher next sky blue plaza, janando kewal supermarket. Central butcher che bijulo le best d'accord le gagne. Collier ni mais de glou. Dorn tout l'info, amal le lien. Mills meat, brisket, osso beaucoup Obama, t-bone steak, beef steak, brown steak, entre côte, lamb goat, lamb chops, liba, shawarma meat, yamunicha, amal le lien cow foot, amal le lien lachas. Amal le nak lidi file, ba kan gubes taka le gani pou yen kostomasi, dokon tou len fa gao. Dinen ibi fo Monday to Sunday, 7 days of the week. Monday to Saturday, yinan nyo fasini ibi 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, nyo ibi le 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Bouja, Sen Dawal Halal, Nagu Reumi, Khalu Reumi, Lenyi Jel, Dadi Len Koy, Defakal Bumubak, pou yen askanwi. Central Bouja, Dao Len Gao Wouti Len, Dao Len Gao Seti Len. Central Bouja, Chebi Jilo, Mungelen Wouti, 303-8761, 303-8761. 761 wala bok 258-9583 kon gagne daw len gaw legi legi central boucha pofu kessel
Sekarang ni lah domo rokat dia set. Boy, jangan sikit restoran. Eh, saya nak kau beli nak dimbal. Nimba domo rokat lah jangan. Domo rokat seni ata, adi ata, topo toro fana kenda ma bige. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo rokat jangan. Adi manda wala de. Teka we bige le, anim fana kafe di jang ikono efa. Eka apa minat kau pastry anim bakery. Iko fanan beka ni, badai lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four ten ni lom dunia aku no. Domoro better ma, ni lom international hotel ada number one. Aman ke bar domo la jang daman. Esa domo jang is atari ya. Awo muku bandi. Ha, anu muku bandi. Esa futen din. Eh, otu sa anu muku bandi musikas restoran. Daman an jang nomu yat ni manje dorom bija. Aban. Musikas restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms or our story buildings. Three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as taroots, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32592200. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties.
I get it. Million raga nyani. Albaga. Mbaka important. Yo, nga transfer la sto. Ya transfer la sto. Ha, code nyi nji. Okay. What's that? Nsi la ID sort of. Ha, sa sa sa. Sorry. ಬಂಕೋಲ್ <laughs> kodo si fa si fa fo falindiro fo nyaadi nafta meme men ko di topoto ni ko di maraw jannam number 1 di nyonta an num fana nata anoda enterprise sotale wala wala min di ko domorol fana ko fana be firale de dadi ma ni domorol di fana be teat gambia dawda yalo ma fu fa kendol sotale di ha e wo moy ha a felenta ni wo ka ni na lafta nyelan kendol e binaji yalo bu kanyi la ko la baraka ha yalo del chosa no la baraka solicitors a legal excellence firm in london that can help you with all aspects of your legal work if you are looking at immigrating to the united kingdom stewart and co can help you to set up business buy houses in the uk and would we'll deal with all your legal work from start to finish for all your general immigration work we can help you with that as well if you apply for any form of visa where the student visas settlement visas marriage visas or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family we can help you to achieve your goals Stewart and Co solicitors a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyance immigration litigation family law personal injury licensing no win no fee contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com Hi Umar Danfa. Hi Umar Danfa. Hi the presentation into the microphone please. Ute Umar Danfa. Hi Umar Danfa. Ute Ute Umar Danfa. Do swear. Ben Kalila ko. 
Omar Damfa. Omar Damfa. Bonsoir. Ben Kalilako. Ben Kalilako. Aspect de Tonya Tonya Damma. 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 Good afternoon, Mr. Danfa. Inyang, Mr. Danfa. Thank you for agreeing to testify before the TRRC. Para kabake, isunta niya mga kana kila si Diaro di jang TRRC. Today we want to talk about the following subjects. Bi, belafle min kachala jang walong ninti. No biographical information. Orang itu faham nak kibaru, itu orang jemaati. And your work as a soldier in the Gambia National Army. Ani lab doko, soldier kunda, Gambia masa kunda tu. Your travels abroad and what you did in those travels. Anu mila tamu, bantu la bank kulkang, minyakke, or tamu kono. And when you returned and your foray into Farafeni. Ani ingkap beri murun tanam ina tanah samba farafenya. I'll rephrase that. Your the attack you guys launched at farafenya barracks. Okay, ali buin kamu mungkin um farafenya barracks. Your subsequent escape from the territory. Ina tanah kena udara tu nyami. And your arrest and deportation to the Gambia from Senegal. Nanti muda ni ada di Senegal ke, muru di Nangambia Bangkok. The investigations that were all carried out against you. Terus kisru ye minke itulah karoro. And what the things that were done to you in the process. Anin kul minke dia lah, wo kis kisru wato. At NIA. NIA. And at the Malto prison. Anin Malto prison. And how you came subsequently to be released from prison. Ani nata nyami info nata na nata bula prison auto kaso auto. And the impact of all this on your life. Ani wakul nata mune sabu ite fanga la balu wako na. And the impact of serving on you of serving time at my two prison. Ani mune sabu ima kabri ya watu ya kem my two prison kabri ya sindiye. And in all this, some of the things that were being said about the Mandinkas in this country. And in all kono be kuma kama mimfo Mandinko la karoto na nyimbangko kono ya. And when you finish, you may be given an opportunity to say a few words as closing remarks. Ni we pareta drong ibe sala puru ela kuma kalabang ulke kaje ko ela dia mo tawa na. Are you ready to proceed? Pare tala pro ma kontine. Mr. Witness? Sero ibe tala ma kofa i pare tala pro ma kontine. Yes, I am ready. Did you hear everything I have said? Nami mfuye jang ya be mwele. Anka mwele. Yes, I've heard it. And do you understand everything that's been said? Ya be fahamle nami mfuye jang. Anka mwele. Yes, I've heard it. Thank you very much. Before you begin your testimony, I must warn you that uh, it is a criminal offense to lie on the oath or to provide false testimony to the commission. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Uh, Mr. Damfa, what are your full names? Mr. Damfa, I told you to know. My name is Omar Juf Damfa. Are you known by any other names? In Liberia, they call me John Damfa. And are you also called by another name? No, these are the names I know about myself. How did you metamorphose from Omar to John? Nah itu lah pulu ya ke ini dalam kononnya dia kabuk umar karena ya jump. Ayah lom kabin belai belai no operation ni mula mula. Karena ni kok umar mau baru nak aku mampu belai belai nanti. When when I was in Liberia, that was my operational name because if I say Omar, a lot of people will know that I am not a Liberian. And it was important for you to disguise your nationality. 
Anong silang iti ako mati iti ili puri ka jako kela bangku yan yung faling. Ayan man ka faling ako. No, it's not changing it. No, it was necessary. It was important for your nationality not to be revealed. Yes, I did it because of that. Okay. In fact, uh, uh, most, if not all, of the Gambians that served uh, in Liberia at that time under the NPFL or so forth uh, took Liberia names. Yes, we were all like that there. So, uh, Omar John, Omar Juf Damfa, John Damfa, or Juf, are all names by which you refer to. Omar John Damfa, Omar Juf. Yes, they are all my names. What's your date of birth? 20 June 1964. 20 June 1964. Where were you born? I was born in Kunda in the LRR region. Tell us about your education. Primary school, primary school. I attended primary school at the Pakalindin Primary School. From there, I went to the Pakalindin Secondary Technical School. And you finished in 1980? Yes. What did you do after 1980 when you finished? I was in 1980. Uh, the man they named me after I went to him. He, he was a plumbing contractor called Omar Juf. What did you go there to do? I went there for him to teach me the art of plumbing. The trade of plumbing. The trade of plumbing, okay. And uh, later, you left his company, correct? Yes, I later left that company. And you enlisted in the, into the Gambia National Army. Which year was that? The selection of 1984. The selection was done in 1984. Uh-huh. 85 training we started uh, training in 1985 on the second of which month? January. January. Uh, and uh, when did you finish training? Four months later training. We did four months for the training. So that would take you to April uh, 1995, correct? Yes, that's what happened. Uh, where, you, where were you deployed upon completion of training? I was with the GNA till August 27th. In 1985. Yes. Another time. Another selection of another type of federal army. Then I later went and uh, joined the Confederal Army. And uh, where were you stationed? They took me to the headquarters in Bakao, opposite the Zandam camp. In 1996, you had the opportunity to go for some training abroad. Yes, they took me to Senegal for training. Uh, on what? Training. The type of training we had there was various. What did you specially focus on especially? Mine are explosive currently. Yes, we learned mine and explosives. Yes, we learned mine and explosives. 
and, and we also learned how to construct bridges where, uh, uh, in war time where there is a war, how to cross places with bridges. We also did a commando training there. And uh, when you finished your training, where were you deployed? I came back to the Confederal Army again. And uh, did you return to your parent unit later? Yes, I went back to the headquarters again. And uh, what happened after that? Uh, in 1997. Uh, 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 in September, I went back again to the GNA. I spent two years at the Confederal uh, uh, unit. And then? Okola. Another tragedy. I was there. In Atang, in Samba Farafene. Then they took me to Farafene. What year? Sanju Malawati. 1989. That was in 1989. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Damfa, you seem to be going back in terms of the years. Oh, uh, we, have, we have gone as far as 1997, mm -hmm. when, when you were deployed back to the federal, mm -hmm. Confederal Army. And then in 1997, September, you, you were deployed to your parent unit. Not 97, sorry. Okay. Mm, All, right. All right. All mm, right. In fact... Okay. In fact, uh, yes, there was no confederation in 1995, 1996. Uh, so uh, let's let's take it back. Huh? Uh, you were deployed, posted to confederation in 1985-86, right? Yeah, up to 87. Huh? Up to 87. Okay. Yes, up to 87. I left that place in 1987. Okay. So 1987, you were. Uh, uh, you uh, returned to your parent company. Okay. Yes, I was taken back to GNA. And you discharged from the army in 1990. Yes, I, I left the army in 1990. You only did six years. Five years. Five years. Huh? January 1995 to 1990. January 1995, yes. What did you do when you left the army? Since I left the army, I was just sitting down without a job. Mm -hmm. And then? Okola. Mm. Uh -huh. December 1991. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, now, Barendindo Mialo, well, I had a niece called Dudu Sanyang. Mm -hmm. He came and found me in my compound at Tanji. He told me, Swandi Kamara. He told me that there was somebody in Ivory Coast called Dr. Mani. He said, he said he wanted to have ex-servicemen. He has a company and he wants those people to work for him. But I was not ready to go. But because of my needs, because we were very well used to each other, and there was a big respect between us, then I later decided uh, to, 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 to join them. And this Dr. Mani, is he known by another name? Uh, Dr. Mani, Todo Mani, Kakumani Mina. Kabin Tabarun, like Kafumi Dr. Mani, Kabin Dr. Federal Library, and Maru Boko Kwesa Pasanyan. Initially, we called him Dr. Mani, but when I arrived in Liberia, that's the time I came to know that he is Kukoi Sambasanyan. 
ang Kukoy Samba Sanyang uh, of, of the 1981 disasters ku uh, attempt in Iraq. And when could the Kukoy Samba Sanyang was in 1981, could they tell me what happened? I'm not going to tell you. It's the same person. Uh, what kind of company were you told he had? As my nephew told as my as my as my nephew told me the late Dudu Sanyang told me that the man has hospitals. He wants to enlist people who were ex servicemen. So he want people who should be Gambians. Uh, did you go alone? No, I didn't go alone. Who did you go with? I went along with Swandi Kamara. The late Dabo. The And M.M. Koli. I hope M.M. Koli is alive. Yes, M.M. Koli is alive. Yes, he is alive. Okay, and uh, where did you start your journey from? I went via Zigansor. And went on to Tambakunda. He joined a train at Tambakunda and went to Mali. Yes, where we were staying, that area is called Bamako. And then? And from Bamako? From, from Bamako? We spent the night at Bamako. Then the following day, we joined a vehicle and went to Burkina Faso. Where in the second capital, Bogojurasu? We went to their second capital called Bobo Julasso. Bobo Julasso. We left Bobo Julasso. We took a bus from there and went to Wagadugu. Where we based was called Avenue Morinaba. And thereafter? Where we That's where we were based. Uh, only All the time we have not yet met Kukoy. We didn't see Dr. Mane up to that time. But one day, but one day, uh, in other phone, you can know me from a time of Aya. He came to me and told me that the man they are talking about, let's go to him. Not that blood also do Burkina Faso, a barrel of men who are barrel expensive tobacco. There was somewhere in Burkina Faso a very expensive bar. We in somebody, they took us there. Expensive or extensive? Everything is in that bar. Ah, so what, bar. what is everything? Everything is in that bar. in that bar. in that bar. Everything is well, it's in terms of food, we have a lot of things, food and a, a lot of things there. So when we went there, they said this bar belongs to him. But I said somebody who they said was in Ivory Coast, how can he have a bar here? Is this something? Is, is this something uh, very clear? But even there, we were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. Two weeks now, we were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. We spent two weeks at Burkina. The third week, we were not able to see this Dr. Mane. In the third week, they said, now we are going to Ivory Coast. The plane we boarded, when we were going on board the plane, our bags were searched. After we sat down on board the plane, 
We saw a man come into the plane, a fair colored person. Followed by his security man. Charles they said, this man is the man called Charles Taylor. I said, hey. <laughs> I said, then, today, this place will be, something will happen here. Why did you think so? Why, uh, what do we have with Charles Taylor? Why did you Charles Taylor? So at that point, we cannot uh, disembark from the plane. They don't take off the whole thing. That's how the plane took off. Strategy map between the uh, Ivory Coast and Liberia border. It went and landed between the Ivory Coast and uh, Liberia's border. But of course, this was the type of the NPFL. NPFL. Yes, this was NPFL. Yes. And, and uh, this was just two years after the NPFL was launched. One year. One year, because it was... Yes, they started in 89, but the official launch is 1990 from Nimba County. Yes. Proceed, please. We went at night. We traveled only at night. Who funded your travel? What all we spent. Uh, uh, Swandi Kamara was responsible for all our expenditure. So Swandi was a recruiting agent also. Yes. Proceed. That's how we formed a convoy from Nimba County. From Nimba County. We ran like that until we went into Bong County. The time we arrived at the Bong County, bullets were raining down like the how rain comes here in the sky. I said, what is happening here? And we are, uh, uh, during, we are, at that time there was a ceasefire. I said, uh, during a ceasefire, bullets are raining like this. Then if there is no ceasefire, <laughs> Mr. 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 Uh-huh. And they took us to Yankuba Samate's house. He's a Gambian. I think if I can remember, he's from Salikenya. And I said to myself, oh, on the whole, in Liberia here, you have Gambians here. But up to that point, we are still unable to see Dr. Mane. Youngs, what was his name? Youngs. Well, I gave it away, sorry. But what was his full name in Liberia? Rafael Youngs, General Youngs. They call him General Youngs. Was he Smith? Hmm? Was he Smith? Smith, I go off and five. Yes, he is also called Smith. Yes, proceed, please. Not at the gate. We are there. But uh, they also realized that. We are ex servicemen. Mm. Mm. And they said we should be taken to a place called Kari. It's a place where they have cattle and many other animals which are reared in that place. He went there and found Mustafa Jiba there. He's the man who was in charge of that place. What, what was his Liberian name? Liberian community. Mustafa Makaroon. They call him Mustafa Makaroon. <laughs> we spent some few days there also. But Liberia, there is one thing about them. Before we came to know about the place, we were nearly killed by hunger. Because there's only one type of food there. If you 
have lunch, you will not have dinner. normal time, all of And even their normal time, that's what's the system there. But small things that we can eat around are plenty. Because they are sufficiently endowed. We were at Mustafa's place. One man came there and we were told that this man is Kukoi's deputy. General they call him General Ablaiba. Short and strong. Yes. Yes. Another for you know, Kukoi Sambasanyan deputy. He told us this man is Kukoi Sambasanyan's deputy. How many Gambian generals did you have there? To all the Gambian generals of Gilestrogi. Full lad boom follow the general manshiade. When we initially, initially arrived, there were not many generals. bodyguard. At that time, if there was a general, I think he was uh, Chancellor's bodyguard. Yes. They call him Jere Koli. And Jere Koli was General Jackson. Jackson. Ah, uh, yes. Jere Koli was General Jackson. Young Stu, wasn't he a general? Yes. Yes. Later on, Yankuba also became a general. And Ablaiba also was a general. Ablai is a three-star general. Ablai was a three-star general. Lieutenant general. So, mm -hmm. what, how about Mr. Fa Macaroni? He, 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 he was, was a lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant. Mr. Fa was a lieutenant colonel. Mm -hmm. so, Gambians ruled Liberia. Well, if the truth comes out, Gambians were very powerful in Liberia. Wherever you have serious trouble, if a Gambian is not there, then you will not go. That's how we were there. In general, Ablaipa. This General Ablaiba, not for Mustafa, I could come to two knowledge in Bita for Grand Bassa. He told Mustafa that we cannot remain there. We yeah. have to go to Grand Bassa. Grand Bassa? Bassa, Bassa, yes, in Bichama. Grand Bassa in Bichama. We do not know Samba Bichama. They took us to Bichama. What, 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 because 91 and 1992 were signed. Now it was, we were in 92 at that time. At this stage, mm -hmm. have you already been integrated into the NFL? Or NPFL? Right. Or NPFL? Or NPFL? Or NPFL? NPFL? Yes, at that time we were in the middle of things. What rank did you attain? Initially, I was just a fighter. If I was given a rank, it was an operational rank. Ah. Which was? I was a captain. captain. Which was a captain. I'm not so a you, you, you led a company. That's how we were. Documents they came and took our documents. Up to this time, have you met Kukoi? Up to new water, remember Dr. Mane. Up to that time, we haven't seen Dr. Mane. Did you willing, willingly enlist? Because we were already in the middle of things. At that moment, you cannot refuse. Because the way Liberia was, because how things were going on, Gambians held many positions If you come to Nimba County, where we entered through, Onel Mfamarakoli was responsible for that area. If you go to Lofa, General Jallo was there. What's his name? Tundi. He's from Demban. Did he have a Liberian name? Liberian 
Mustafa, Mustafa Jallo. Mustafa Jallo, Roman Kalari, Adalari, Ngamra, Mustafa Sanyane, Maidu, Fosane, Le Maidu, no. Marikabara, General Jallo. Whether he would he was Mustafa Sanyang or Sane, but they call him General Jallo. He was the guy in charge of Lofa. By the time when we went into Liberia, to come out, out of that country was really difficult. If you are a stranger and you happen to go in, and the time you we were going in, it was late at night. Uh, and daybreak you see yourself in, in the country, and Banga was in the middle of Liberia. So I think they were not uh, sure of us, or there was no trust. That's why they decided to take us to Grand Basa. Unfortunately, before two months, Ukoi came from Ghana. I cannot forget that day. That was the day I set eyes on Kukoi. I can look for Dr. Mane. Oh, I said to myself, the man they called Dr. Mane, so this is the person. In the whole of Liberia, they only call him Dr. Mane. They don't call him Kukoi. That's the time we sat down with him and had a meeting. That's how we all joined. So far, we all joined. But uh, what did he want from you? So I left that woman and I told you. I'm told you mentally to go on me to go. What we found them doing was they help child still in fighting when they were ready. They come to the Gambia. But at that time, Jawara was the head of state. And you agreed to that enterprise? Ah. Yes. Okay, and uh, you continue to participate in fighting in Liberia. Continue. Uh, Liberia. Yes, but before the fighting itself, now how we were there, that's how they came to us. They knew that we were old soldiers. They said we should go to Cobra Base. That was Charles Taylor's advanced training base. Before we attacked Monrovia. But that was a base shared with Fode Sanko, was it? But a road landing Fode Sanko for now. No, Fode was not part of that. I've never seen a Sirelunion there. I, I held the Quran and swore. And this is Allah's name. I will tell the truth, it's better tell it, tell it, than telling lies. This is a very important point, perhaps for other reasons, but proceed. You went to Cobra Base. Because people were taught by Liberians. But when we arrived, they said we should take over the camp from the Liberians. Tell them. It was himself. Rusanya, late Rusanya, late Daudanyasi, late Lamindabo, late Lamindabo, and Swandi Kamara. And you were all ex servicemen. And we were all ex soldiers. And we were there training the boys. Before 1992, Keloema. Before the war started in 1992. Those who don't know will think that it was Charles Tello who attacked uh, uh, Monrovia. But I held the Quran. What I saw with my eyes and what was said. Uh, the, the problem came from them. Because 15 gates. Because 15 gates. 
is at a place called Habel. If you leave that place, you go to Morovia. Fifteen gate was in the hands of the Ekoma. So how can rebels come from Morovia and come and kill people at Habel? They said it was Charles Taylor. This is what triggered the 1992 war. Yeah, but it was really tough. Uh, but, 15 gate. Starting from 15 gate. We fought and we fought and we fought them until we took the place called Red Light from Ghana, them. We took Vanasville from them. We took New Joji also from them. We took a lot of places from them. Do, do, do you realize that some Gambians were injured in that fighting? Gambian Jamal Baramatun Wokelo. So, not many. Gambian Dantang Baramatun Wokelo. Gambian Mokata Glebira Kelo. Gambian Mayo for Intermarchy. Gambians don't fight in Liberia. If anybody tells you that. I wouldn't lie to you. Gambians tell you they were fighting in Liberia. Freeport. They were there, but based at Freeport. We see them. One platoon was involved in fighting, and, uh, and Captain Kambi was injured. It could be, it could be but I have not seen but, them. But all these things are interesting, uh, but let's move to the more important points. Uh, you, you, you served in Liberia until 1994, correct? for 1994 somewhere. Ah. Yes. And uh, then what happened after that? I want you to forgive me. There is a point which I want to uh, uh, declare here so that people will know about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, 90, 1992, in the, in the, the war in 1992, when we defeated the Ekomok, jet fighter tank. They took jet fighters against us. Liberia, they were cluster bomb. Cluster bomb. It was in Liberia that I saw a cluster bomb. I've never seen it in my life. Wouldn't cluster bombs be illegal? Yes, I saw it. They dropped it along with a parachute. He saw some of them which didn't explode, just like a barrel. Because in Liberia you have many swamps, uh, a lot of water, where it falls down. If it is in water, it won't explode. I saw it with my eyes there. So in 1992, Ghanaian members of the Ekomok. They are the people who went to Bichama. Um, General Jai, General uh, Babe Daming. Where General Ba was. He documents for Battle of Bruno. He was having our documents. Ghanaian audio documents for Taraj Taji. They took over your base. Yes, they took over the base and captured our documents. Ghanaian audio documents for Bondi. As those documents were the documents sold by Ghana. And that's why they said all oh, Gambians were are still fight, are fighting for Charles Taylor. And that was the time they sent those papers in Jawara's time. Saying that we've all died. And uh, our deaths were announced here and uh, they did the necessary things for us. You, you mean your family did the necessary things for you? Yes, they did everything because they said that I was already dead. But this was during Jawara's time. Mm -hmm. And later? And from uh, 1995. From 1995. It was the time when Kuko said, let's come to the Gambia. 
Because by that time, we also, we were tired in Liberia. Why? Because, because Kukoi, if you see him this year, before you see him again, it takes a long time. Whether we were alive or dead, he doesn't care. He's always by himself. But it, but it was said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. Uh, 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 the they said, said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. I want to know that. Yeah, that was true. Yet you are suffering in Liberia. But I had to be at all bit torah in Liberia. And the reason why I said we suffered, however long a stick stays in water, we will not be able to transform into a crocodile. Well, as uh, 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 enjoyment. Well, if you talk about enjoyment, mm -hmm. but you enjoy. Yes. However, the war was going on, but we also enjoyed. We were all among the special forces. ten bodyguards more than the if you want, you can have more than 10 bodyguards. And you can go to anywhere you want to time for a candle wasly. Sometimes they even hire me. I don't think that I would like to be a jetro to join them to Rambo in Betambila. Because anywhere at a ghetto in Liberia, when they say John or Rambo, they will give me away. So you also became Rambo. Yes. And uh, Youngs was one of those that controlled the executive mansion. Yes, that happened because Charles went to Ghana for a meeting. Mm -hmm. Robin White ka interview no. If one can remember, Robin White interviewed him. And, and said to him, I am at Banga, can you hear a generator, the sound of a generator? Really, he was not at Banga, he was at the border. Every coast of Liberian border. Because on that, at that time, eight generals, eight generals, they connived. They came and burnt down our mansion. You took away all our guns. Those the things they cannot carry, they burnt them. But at that time, Charles Taylor was in Ghana. Which year it was? Was this part of the negotiations for the Accra Accords? I think it was the same time. You must have been there, Mr. Chair. <laughs> so I sign. Now, I bring a mansion of Bajan. When the mansion was born to the advance la Purkana and told them a foreman. They wanted to advance and come to the area where we were. When they had that, that place, there are Gambians there, they, kept, they went back. But on that day also, I saw... On that three-star general, come off, come meet three-star general. The person we call a three-star general, well, on that day, he, he was, he was after. He said, what are we going to do now? Let's go and surrender to the economic forces. my dead body. I said to him, over my dead body. Maybe somebody will come to testify here who will say that, yes, this happened. I said to him, we die is better than handing over ourselves to the Ekomok soldiers. But later on, we fought, tried, until we took Banga from them. When Charles still returned, that was the time when he brought us closer to him himself. We were his guards. Because he didn't trust anymore his own people. It was us who were guarding him now, Gambians.
Yes, and uh, in fact, some of them, like Youngs, later became ambassador. Bowling mm -hmm. for honey, Youngs for not like ambassador. Charles Taylor's ambassador. To Charles Taylor, like ambassador to Libya. Yes. So you guys wielded a lot of authority in Liberia. A lot of experience. You became battle hardened. You also became Rambo. And you decided to come to Gambia. That's true. Tell us what happened when you came. Uh, so when we came back, when I came back, and before years, and before that, I took a Quran. Well, when I want to do something, it happens. I took a Quran. Well, when Allah wants to do something, it happens. When Allah sometimes has a matter of blame. Sometimes you blame people. But whatever Allah destines for a person will never, will always happen. I have one brother, Baba Job's younger brother. Sirif. Sirif ba. Baba Job. Sirif Baba Job. He said, younger brother, I said, Nam. He said to me, Kukoi is trying to take you people away. And I said, Kukoi is trying to take you people away. But when he takes you to the Gambia, he will betray you. But I didn't heed his word. That's how we came. But how we came, because we had no documents. Well, I don't know how he did it, how he did this. But he tried and made available to us Senegalese ID cards, which were in the form of a booklet. With the flag, ah, the colors of the you. flag running through it? Yes. Yes. We all traveled with those documents. With your own pictures affixed on it? Yes, all our, our every man's pictures. I don't know how he got that from the Senegalese oh, authorities, yes, but I don't know. Know. I forgot one thing also. It's important, it's also important for people to know. When we were in Liberia, what really angered me later, I see Kasama's rebels coming to Kukoi. He was dealing with them. Yes. Yes. Liberia. Yes, they come all the way to Liberia. What, what, I saw that many times. What kind of dealing were they involved in? What they were doing, what they were up to, was not clear to me. But the moment you see them, you will know that they are not Gambians, they are from Kazamas. How do you know that? They themselves say this. They say they are Kazase. That's the time when we know that. Then Kukoi has a hand in the Kasamas. Allah created a human being. A human being is not something, it's not a joke. If you want to play human with human beings, you will never have peace, you yourself. Okay, you came to Gambia. Gambia. When we came to the Gambia. I told you, sorry, we were divided into two groups. I was told you, sorry, we were divided into two groups. 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 Um, we were all from Liberia, but when we reached Kaula, the late Ablai Songo, some were Gambians, but I don't know how he mobilized those people. Were they also ex-soldiers? No, they were not soldiers. What I know. What was going to be their role in your enterprise? Well, what I thought for bringing those people into the country, 
I don't know. I have never known that they have been soldiers. In total, how many were you? I have been a soldier for 13 years. We were less than 22 people. That was in Kaulach or both Kaulach and uh, uh, this place, uh, and Tamba, whatever the name of the place, put together. If you add all of us, we were less than 20 people. Well, those who were at Tamba were more than us. Did you have any weapons? Well, no, we didn't have guns. So this was whose government in Gambia at the time? Uh, for my person, Yajam. It was Yajam's region. So he wanted to overthrow Jawara, that failed. He now, he now wants to overthrow Yajam. Another question of the That question is very good. Was But I can say something because I can say something about that too. Um Kabri Yai Kudeta I Kabri Yai Kudeta Kasoksita. When Yaya succeeded in his Kudeta, Yasello Fanko Gambian Oliko sign Anyata Senate. Yalstello himself told the Gambians now you should go home. Because what you wanted has now happened. Now you can go home. Whether it was Charles Selo himself who came here, but our leaders were the people who came. And I told them before that, those of us who came from the Gambia recently, we ex-soldiers. If things should be done rightly, we are the ones who should go because we know the Gambia. But they didn't agree to that. When these people's school succeeded, I saw their pictures. Okay. Yeah, uh, former President Jammeh. Former President Jammeh. I one year six months I spent one year six months with him at the camp. The, 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 the story building where he was staying is, was behind me. They called the place Yamatoy. But we knew him as Kanilai. I didn't know his name as Yaya. Okay, Yankuba Ture. Yankuba Ture. I see no Yankuba Ture. I see no him. I know him. When I was leaving, if I remember, Sana Sabali, he was a recruit. Edward didn't join the army in my presence. I didn't, I don't know him. When I saw their pictures in Liberia, I said there are two people here who I recognize, Yankuba and Sana. And I, they said this man is called Jame, Captain. I said, but when I was leaving the army, there was no lieutenant called Jame. But saying that he left the Zandam and went to the army, that didn't find me in the Gambia. This is why I was unable to recognize him. I saw that picture before we left Liberia. But if things were done rightly, that's the only thing that But our leaders forced themselves to come. Who, who came? Where Well, if I can remember, those who came. I'm a Domingo Natale. Domingo came. Who's, who's Domingo? Late Domingo. Late Domingo. What she say from New York? What she say? He was the guy who uh, decided to state that coup d'etat in 81. But he ran up and delayed. All of these people were generals. Yes, all of them were generals. 
God, when they came, what they left here with, we didn't know. But, uh, but if you have rebel generals <laughs> coming to lieutenant head of state, <laughs> obviously it's an unholy combination. <laughs> okay, things didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And you resolved to come and overthrow the government of the Gambia. Huh. Ah, yes. And this was in 1996. Yes, so you were in Kaolach and you have another group in Tambakunda. And yes, those people at Tambakunda, we heard that they were already arrested. So the ones who were in Kaula, which, were, which was us, we attacked the Farafenya camp. Myself, Abiro Demba, Abiro Demba, Leta Blay Sonko, Leta Blay Sonko, Alo Kante, Alo Kante, Ramu Jiba, Ramu Jiba, Kebasano, Kebasano, Amrabanta. I think that's it. Yeah, the, the invisible, the late. The late invincible. Yeah, drag. Yeah, drag. <laughs> Even the invincible is late. When is invincible for Nango for Nambantali? What is Father Kasawa? He died in the jail. Oh, when he saw the rest of the You were seven. At the moment, we were Yes. And you came yeah. to Gambia without weapons. And not another Gambia, and we killed him. Um, Yes, we had guns. But if there were guns manufactured by our uh, blacksmiths, it wasn't good. Not good at all. So, how did you manage? It's just like council. We, are, we were used to fighting. We Allah forgive us. Huh? But we saw with our yeah. eyes in Liberia. Well, what I can do is to uh, give thanks to Allah. So that because so today I see myself sitting now with this. Back, back, back. Well, that's great thanks to Allah. Because where I was, if I happen to die there, <laughs> it can be nothing can be said about. Well, it is Allah who takes care of his creation. Well, uh, uh, whatever Allah says, that's what happens. Well, if you are invincible, you can do bullets. What do you see fighting? People think that it is... Uh, that do the fighting. Yes, true. Arms no, you participate it. in fighting, but fighting is done with the heart. The time we were jet fighters, we were fighting we were fighting against jet fighters. Wherever we didn't go, if you have librarians there, they will run away and leave the whole place. The, the, the sound of the jet fighter, only the sound, has made many pregnant women to deliver. No, fighting is not only weapons, it is with bravery. But, but you had, you had judges. Liberians didn't have. Yes, you have very, very good jujus. If somebody tells you you might deny it. If somebody shoots you with an RPG. Somebody. Something to who, who is holding a cow tail will just save the cow tail. If he shakes the cow tail and takes, tells the RPG bullet to drop here, that's where it will drop. There are things that you rub on your body. Uh, this is interesting, but yeah, we, we have to avoid the overlap. Sorry. Our, he, our people here, they give you jujus to tie in your body, which prevents a bullet. That's not there. That's not there. If they give it to you, 
And the moment you turn your back, they will shoot you. And these are prepared by very small boys. And those things worked. And what will can I tell? Liberia. Liberia. And they also did. How many people died in your in your presence? All the people. I think people two people died in my presence, but after I left us the time when Domingo and General Jackson. How about Liberians? How about Liberians? Liberians died in groups. I don't have to do one. <laughs> because they drink until they drink and use drugs. But how about all those champs? They, they forgot to wear them or to rob themselves. <laughs> <in> them. <laughs> If you hear a juju is protecting you, you have to protect yourself first. If you don't protect yourself, jujus will not protect you. <laughs> all right. So. In November 1996, seven of you, mm -hmm. battle hardened Gambian, uh, how would I call them, mercenaries from Liberia? Mm -hmm. However, you say it, there is nothing wrong with it. Thank you very much. You came to Farafenya. Tell us what happened. Farafenya. When we came to Farafenya, we went there with two local guns. These local guns, which were manufactured by blacksmiths. Uh, before Nata. Before we went, what we said was that let's try and capture the camp. That was our mission, to capture the camp. And when we went, we went through the back gate. You had okay. served in Farafenya. Yes, I was in Farafenya. So you Farafenya I, I was uh, di uh, taken to Farafenya on two occasions. We were all part of the engineering unit. And he, he lied to me a lot in those days. Wherever he is going to, he will ask me to go with him. When he was being transferred to Farafenya, that's, that's how he took me along to Farafenya until I completed my time there. Yes. So, when we came through the back gate, we found the sentry man smoking cigarette. Sentry man, you are smoking. I said to him, sentry man, you are smoking. No bullet was fired there. We don't have AK-47. We had these local guns, which, which, which weren't even good. He just <laughs> threw his gun and ran away. <laughs> no gun was fired at the Farafenya camp. I didn't see it there. So they all melted. That's how they all left the camp. Because Branson. Because Branson. He said this at the high court. Invincible. Yeah, yeah. Around eight o'clock, I was signal to come. Officer Sola. It was Branson who. Uh, it was Invincible who found Branson uh, in the uh, mess room and arrest, arrested him there. Allowed the interpreter to, to land. And, tell, and told him to sit down. Uh, no, no, no. He said, no, no, no. The of high court, like. I myself said that at the high court. Uh, he said to him, this, this man is a captain. He didn't do anything to you. Give him respect. That's how we captured him. Because when we attacked the place, we broke the Amori first. And in that Amori also, apart from AK, there was only one RPG. The motors in there weren't good. We were there like that till daybreak. And we saw that there is no way to wait. Now it's daybreak, what are we going to do? And I said, no, let's advance them. 
driver kili tana. He took one driver. A kidu ni kesel biya kawala kono. He put bullets and gun guns in that uh, uh, vehicle. Nata phone sa rabu bolo. He came all the way to Bobolo. In Peter Singata Benta World. That's where we met up with Peter Singata yeah. and his troop. In fact, they can move new far over the year. And they are shooting to place there. The moment, but nobody died there. Uh, but in Farafenye, mm -hmm. was it there a soldier who was injured? I see in Farafenye, so they left the member matter. Yeah, for the soldier of Farafenye. They said soldiers died there. And imagine it. But I didn't see it. Did you shoot? They did not find it. No. Well, it was seven of you. I took the Quran and swore. I didn't fire in Hadamadu. But I fought really in Liberia. And in Baobolo? In Baobolo. Ah, Kabu Bobolo, Kabu in Benta. When we met at Bobolo, Peter Le Bentaji. We met with Peter there. Ah, Nal Trubo. With his troop. So, no fire was there. He shot each other there. I wrote to my family already. Because it was already daylight. The police told the young gentleman to control the motor. They dispersed so that they can try and capture us. So we were in the middle. We maneuvered the one gentleman to the other. That's how we maneuvered and went into the bush. Myself and Esa Balde, the two two of us went together. We spent the night in the bush like that. They saw the orders, but they didn't see us. Following the set and back. The following day, we came back. We came and roasted some gallows. Uh, one lady came and told us that soldiers were looking for people around here. Then I said, ah, we are also looking for... That's how we crossed Bobolong and went along up to Farafenye. But it was at night. We came to the border. That's how we tried and uh, looked for a vehicle. We crossed and went to Kaula. How about your weapons? We threw all those arms away. Because in Senegal in those days, if they see guns with you, they say you are You have to allow the interpreter to learn. Thank you. So, so, so you escaped. Uh, but uh, what is of, uh, what's interesting is when you took over the camp, mm -hmm. what did you do to the soldiers who were there? We were there for three days. Uh, we were there for three days. 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 Melted. They all oh, ran away. Yeah, I didn't see any soldier there. Good news. And what happened to the vehicle that you had stopped with, uh, with uh, arms and ammunition? I don't know. 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 I Yes, someone was shot in our group. Yes. The fellow was shot on the leg, and the bullet is still in his leg. Up to the state. Suleiman Sar also suffered a broken uh, leg. You did not mention Suleiman Sar. Suleiman Sar, no come off no. That would make you eight. For you, Sal, can you almost say? Yes. Did, did all of you escape? After the engagement in the night, some of our people even uh, left us and they ran away. Because Karamo Jiba ran away. We did not see Kabiro Demba. We did not see Kebasano. So it was only the five of us who were left. So all Balo? Balo, Sosoyama, Suleiman Sosoyama. Okay, Suleiman Sosoyama was shot. Then, not at our Nyama, then in Isa. So I went along with Isa. Up until a former wife. Isa what? Isa Balde. Isa Balde. So that would make you nine. 
got into his room and then we saw a very fair uh, in complexion. Yes, sir, she fucking made a motion in the bedroom. She bleached her skin. Yeah, from the spiral. She bleached her skin. The type that I have never seen before in my life. Behold, she was a spy. Oh God. The woman came down. Even before you talk about seconds. Okay, okay, okay. That time I had a rusty hat on. Already they had described me to her already. All of this one is like this, this one is like this. And that was how we were. They grabbed, they grabbed us. They, they pounced the lost and they pounced on the marabouta. I told them this man has not done nothing uh, wrong. That was how they dragged us to their police station. Who pounced on you? He said, I did that. 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 When they took us to their place, police station, the police station, in a statement, they took our statements, said, yes, I told you, I don't know if I did you are in this country, we knew about your presence here, but we did not know that you were here. And I, I told them, what, what is it about? They said the problem that happened in Farifajar. I told them, you have nothing to do with it. We don't know anything about it. They said, to us, look, we know everything about your activities, and there's no need for you to try to hide anything here. I said to them, well, it's true, what you have said is the truth. But now, 24 hours, then I'm going to go to the bank. Give us 24 hours and we will leave your country. What do you want to do? They said, we are repatriating you back to the Gambia. They said, we are repatriating you back to the Gambia. They said, well, taking us back to the Gambia and they said, yes. I said, that is not going to be an easy thing. We spent the night there. So, I'm going to go to the bank. The morning time, I think it's the general uh, police commander, but it's a very uh, high official. He came and said to us, now we are taking you to the Gambia. I said to him, brother, and he said, yes. I said, but we caused a problem in the Gambia. And you have arrested us and you want to return us to the Gambia. Prince Johnson. Prince Johnson. He killed Samuel Doe. But why did he run away and uh, took refuge in Nigeria? Right now, I feel like a senator. Right now, here he is he's a senator. In Liberia. In Liberia. If I do something wrong in my country, and you don't like me, give me 24 hours and I will leave your country. And instead of taking me back. It's not nice that way. But it's because of money. They said there was an, an agreement between Gambia and Senegal. They said, well, so we are. Where I came from is much more difficult or hard than where you are talking about. The same one God who spared me from Liberia. And even if I return to Gambia, the same God, if he wants to spare me, he will spare me. They said, well, we are taking you. They took us in a special flight. They came and picked Suleiman Sar in Kaula. And we landed at the airport. Which airport? Our very own Banyan International Airport. Our very own Banyan International Airport. As soon as I came down the stairs, Banyan Jala said to me, Dampa, what are you laughing about? I said to him, what am I laughing? What am I laughing? I did not even answer. They took us in a vehicle. Were you in chains? Yes, they were cuffed. But from the airport gate, you will think it's a president to come in. The highway was thronged with people on both sides. You will think it's a president to come in. The highway was thronged with people on both sides. I think they told them that we, we have captured the guys. That was why that large crowd came out. That was how they took us to the NIA. When they took us to the NIA, it was midnight. Where they took us in is the place they call Bambadika. 
We are still naked just as we were born. And we were handcuffed behind our bars. And there were many mosquitoes. So there were many some of the soldiers will put their pistols in the holes there and threaten to shoot me. And some of them will say, some of you are, you are lucky. If someone Sabali was here, he would have killed him. But Suleiman's injury, when they broke, they took us from there to another cell. But there too, we were still handcuffed behind our backs. And uh, I think we spent about two days there. Third day, some the television. On the third day, we were paraded before the television. We spoke. television. After we, what did you say on television? The same statement I said. Yeah, what I said, yeah, the same thing that they came, found me in my house in Tanya. They mobilized me and took me to library. That was what I said on television. Same thing I have said to them. Did you, did you say on television that you attacked the country? Yes. Were you forced to say that? Yes. What Are you telling me? No. You did not force me. It was a plain confession. Yes. Yes. Okay, proceed, please. After that, what was the NIA That was when the NIA started their work. We are interested in that. We were handcuffed, handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the We will sit on the floor. The air condition of Malacca. The air condition is on. And whatever part of your body they are hit, they are beating you. I don't know what you charge from the machine. The machine that they used to charge car batteries, that is what they used to electrocute people. They will put one on your tool, one in your ear. But when they press that, even while the, that air condition is on, you'll be sweating. You don't even know what is happening. The beating is going on. The beating is going on. When they are tired, they'll take you back. Okay. Tell us who in the NIA was responsible for making out this torture on you. Number one. Number one. For the body, number one. Salmina drama number two. Salmina drama number two. I will say that because Salmina, Salmina, then I be able to start again. He comes from the same place as I have come from. The corridor is still open. There's only a, a, a path between our compounds. Yen da mudambe shiri. And the day that I was uh, arrested and I was sitting there, I was in a fog. 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 He said, "These people, we should not waste bullets on them. We should just take them to the Bruaf uh, reserve and yeah, throw them for the jetul and throw them for the lions." Not no longer Salmina Jubi. I raised my head and I looked at uh, Salmina. Not no Jubi. And I bowed down again. Mario, my mum is killing the man who fled from me. The God who is one. Salmina, now that I enter my door. I, Salmina came and found me in my room. But I did not wish that for him. But just that in this world, people should be very and, careful. And who else was responsible for torturing him? Baba Dindin Jobate was there. He was not doing the beating. Who oh, knows? He did not beat me. Was he present? Was he present? Yes, he was there sitting down. Did um, he see you tortured whilst yeah, I he was there? Uh, uh, yes, he was sitting. Did he stop it? No. Uh, did, he, did, he, did he say anything about the Bible? No. 
Now and then, if they say they want to do I'm something, the one the I used to hear him. Okay. Allowed interpreter. Okay. Now and then, when they want to do something, I used to hear him to tell them to stop. But that was not in all occasions. Would you say that he was against your torture? Sometimes he will refuse it, sometimes he accepts. I think sometimes when things get so very difficult for me, he feels sympathetic for me, and that is when he asks him to stop. In fact, what you say is that Baba Dindin Jobate, a lawyer, former attorney general, and one time judge, was complicit to your torture. <laughs> Yes, I can say that he was part of it. That is a serious accusation. You know that? Our Ninja Bata came and found me in prison. I will not lie against him. In fact, he's my guy. He's not worth it. Arisambu. Arisambu. He is more wicked than all of them. He is the one who lights the fire. Because each time he comes in and goes out, that's when things start getting terrible. Why do you say that? When Harisambu comes, wherever he got his order from, I don't know. But he, he comes and tell, tell them, do not have any mercy for these people. Beat them, beat them mercilessly. So, 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 so you have mentioned three people as being involved in your torture. You mentioned that, correct? Yes. Salmina Drame. Salmina Drame. Baba Dinding Jobate. And now you mentioned Harisam. Harisam. Unprompted, you mentioned Harisam. Yes, I had forgotten about his name, but his name should have been the number one. Why do you say that? Maybe someone else will come here who will tell you about Harisambo's deeds. I do do not know what position he held at the time at the NIA, but he thinks he was not the easy man. What do you mean by uh, other position among easy? What do you mean by that? You know, these other ones, when they are doing their things, they don't talk. But when he comes, he tells them to beat him. And he doesn't hide it. So, so hear him say that yourself. In a sense, you were saying that he would come and order your continuous torture. Yes, that is a serious allegation. And that is what happened also. You are on the oath. Did he order an oath? And that is what also what happened. Did he order your torture? When he says, beat, beat them up, then he gave the order. Yes. How many times have you been tortured at the NIA? No one can count that. God just spared us. How many times were you electrocuted? That is on a daily basis. But you had already confessed. I think they were just wicked or hard-hearted. Mm -hmm. Were you only tortured at the NIA? Were you tortured elsewhere? If you would excuse me a little bit, let's return to the NIA because there are things I have not completely said. Please, when we were in the NIA, NIA, the entire time, we did not have a chance to wash. 
When they told us, uh, let's go so that we can take bath, I said to them, let's go. We went to the bathroom. I had handcuffs were still in my hands, and they told me to wash, take a bath like that. I said, no, well, then let me go back. So all the time that we spent there, all the, the time our hands were cuffed behind our backs. But that is also uh, that is also wisdom because not everybody, not everybody can do it. Because when night falls, we used to remove uh, move up, remove it from the back and, and bring it to the front. And uh, when when day breaks, we we turn our hands How to our backs. That is wisdom. It's easy, but I will not demonstrate that here. No, we would want to see it. We would want to see it. But anyway, proceed. How, for how long were you detained at the NIA? Later, the NIA for what? NIA during November 13. From November 13. Until January, that was when we left the area. What were you doing there? I was in the hospital. 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 Just sheer wickedness. We are just lying, lying on the floor. Only a few were lying on the, on the bed. So at what stage were you returning your clothes? I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital. Yes. Talk about them bringing back rocks to us. We'll get there too. I have forgotten one thing also. I swore by the Quran. What happened? I'll tell. I'll tell. And I will not leave that the path. Why we are here? The The time that we were at the NIA. I don't know whether they used to be angry with us or what, I don't know. The food that they gave us was small, but the food came from the army barracks. And the senior officers, all of them that are in the National Army, there is no one amongst them who does not know me. I'm not sitting here promoting myself. But I wasn't the type of soldier that uh, they would normally refer to as a bad cow. From from original NIA. Whatever was uh, an original NIA. And uh, uh, that person was trained by the British. All of them knew me. You were Fraser Juf and Jani Samsar because Samsar in Karalunu Masakongo. Fraser Juf and Samsar came because uh, Fraser Juf taught me in. Samsar, Samsar taught me in Pakaleva. Samsidinsar. Samsidinsar. Then that for Fraser Juf, a major. And I told Fraser Juf, who was a major, I said to him, Major, and he said, Yes. I said, We used to eat, but uh, not to our full. Our mm -hmm. full. Mm -hmm. He said, Is that true? I said, Yes. He said, But I will uh, tell the, the man in charge of the country. Salmon. The following day, we used to eat until we throw some away. Um, you were happy about that. And the way you continue. But still, yes. you are not giving back your clothes. Our clothes were not returned back. You were still chained behind your back. And the blue baby came in the coma. Yes, and you are still sleeping with the mosquitoes in the cell. Bela kawole nyama ning susula alkon. Yes, and we lay on the bare floor. Were you ever given medical treatment while you were at the NIA? Yes, doctors came there. They used to come and turn. Were you ever given the chance to speak to a lawyer? Well, our lawyer, well, when we reach the stage where we talk about the court. Uh, Between November and January, were you given the chance to speak to a lawyer? No, it never happened. 
So, is there anything else you want to tell us about the, your time at the NIA? Fana kudo fana mijere bela fana kamin fontoli watu mina albesiring NIA. What happened to me at the NIA is what I narrated, and uh, I think that is all of it. Now let's go to the prison. When we have been taken to mile two, it was on a Wednesday. Because I remember in those days, on Wednesdays, they used to cook convict. But that was during Momodo Sisi's time. I think he was a Banjulian who went to England, had a problem. He was uh, a former Zandam officer. At that time, David Coley was not yet around. When they took us there, there was one old man there from Sukuta called Ndaw, who was retired. You know, at the time, mile two, 97, 97, the time that we were taken inside and the condition of mile two today are different. They are not the same. They did that we were going in there. They were only planks. Just empty planks. But they removed those planks from the, the room. Mosquito net control member from Bunda to the number one cell. And the old mosquito nets that were at the door at number one cell, they went and removed them to the parent member. Those that are at the window and at the door, so that the mosquitoes will bite us. In 20 liter bidon, the 20 liter uh, gallons, it was what they cut from the top. And there was no cover. Around. And that was where we, 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 we ease ourselves on. You know you went on a visit to Bail too. But they never showed you a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place they call Kunta Kinte. There is something they call Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte is something they call Kunta Kinte. The, the, the boat that uh, took Kunta Kinte went to the, 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 iron, uh, the iron legs that uh, they put on Kunta Kinte when they were being taken by the Europeans. Oh, the circles. Thank you. Oh, the circles. They are there. The first time we arrived there, those were the ones that they used, they, they put on their feet. And their hands were cuffed. We lay on the empty floor. We were in that state, which was for two or three months. While at uh, the mile two prison, were you ever tortured? They nearly killed us there at mile two. The soldiers. My two prison officers were found. Even the mile two prison officers themselves. Like who? Come to manual. Seflaya Jaju. I tell him what I can tell him. Seflaya Jaju used to lead them. Mulamin Sisi. Mulamin Sisi. Yana Barabako Mori. Yana, but he doesn't beat people. Who else? Nimbanga Plumba. And the manga plumber. There are two manga there, but Nico manga plumber, they, everybody knew him. There were two mangas, but if you uh, call the name manga plumber, everybody knew him. These were his torturers. Every day, new man booty, along with every week, none of booty. If we were not beaten every day, the rest assured that every week they were going to come to beat us up. When he comes, he will tell us, human dinkers, you have come to destroy this country. This was the thing he constantly said until he had a problem with Sana Sabale. Who was that? Yaya Jaju. Yaya Jaju. Sefla. Sefla. Why were you beaten? I don't know the reason. But by God's grace, every, anywhere you go to the, in this world, there are always good people. Were they torturing you 
because they wanted to punish you or were they torturing you at the behest of somebody else? For saying, Kabri Batu Lipaka, Bal Lipaka Nuko left Al Kuraleva, Wale Mole and Marole at Nebal Lipaka. Inca to look into the Paradrom, Lamar Mendia, Katumba for Ranya. And I can only say that they were just beating us up to please themselves. How many times were you beaten in Malto? Nobody can come that night, my brother. I said for two years we were in shackles. Complete two years. Complete two years we were in shackles. Our feet were shackles. When Osman Baji was appointed as interior minister, when he was, he came for the visit. That was when those shackles were taken off our feet. November. From, from, 90, 90, from 97 to November 98, the shackles were on our feet. We lie down with them and we wake up with them. On. For two years. Complete two years, yes. Complete two years, yes. Nearly, nearly two years. Nearly two years. I want you to run us through uh, some of the torture sessions you went through at, at Mileto. So I left the Puy and Samba, a car tandem mully in the Porosifa Nadil Caldam Malto. During our court time, a prison officer is like a Tol Samba court. We are usually taken by prison officers. And Dola court water, new court begala. But at that time, when the court is on, school didn't put a car on the phone to the the school, the students never would, uh, would not, no, usually not go to school because they always wanted to see us. Because this was something that they never saw before. Torn shirts. You know what it is? Oh, shorts. We, we had no shoes on our feet. And the chains were clinging on each other and making noise. And that was how we went into until we took the witness box. And even took that from our feet. And when they are taking us, they used to take us in a truck. They will pack the truck under the sun until around 4. When the quarter uh, comes to an end, when we get into the vehicle, they will tell us to lie down on the vehicle like that. We lie flat on our bellies. And the heat used to burn our bellies until we get to mile two. When you get to mile two and you alight, before we get into confinement, We'll be slapped and kicked and slapped and kicked until we get into the cell. We were in that state until the, our court came to an end. There has never been any day that we went to court and we were not beaten. Could you identify those that participated in torturing you? When I can uh, recall at that time, um, Jagai, all of them were Jagai. He was the leader. Jagai. Ah, all of them were Yes, he was the leader. Special He was issued a special vehicle at the time. He was the one there. How did he torture you, Jagai? Jagai, he did not kill anyone. Huh? He did not kill He does not beat anyone. But he was a commander. And when the beating sessions were going on, he was always present, but he does not touch anyone. Would, did he have any authority to stop it? Yes, he could have uh, done so, but he never said it. Would you say that he was an accomplice to your torture? Well, if you see a child beating someone and an elderly person is present and that person says nothing, it means that elderly person too is part of what is happening. So tell us who tortured you in the presence of Jagai. You know at the time I did not know the soldiers. 
work for Robin Sokol and Bamaro. I forgot the time. Raymond Sok. Raymond Sok. Ha. I forgot the time, but our lawyer was Raymond Sok. I mean, Amate. The late Amate. And the late Amate. We were the first lawyers, but we were the government lawyers. They were our first lawyers, but those were uh, government lawyers. You did not personally hire them directly. We got a personal letter. And the government did not. No, we were given them by government through the legal aid scheme. Yeah, but are you sort of legal aid? Aid scheme. Mm. We let them file yes. Yes. And uh, did you see a lawyer any time in between the first three months of your of your of your arrest and Sula. detention? Sila iti nato lawyer gile ala muto follow le kap wakari sabol kono ala nato lawyer gile ba. Tengah mereka berumur dua jam ngau dia court house dan di luar nama nama tu mana kena form atau mende dan na na appeal court. Allah muto kono muto kari sabol kono. Dulu nama dua jam ngau dia. We never saw any lawyer in my time. So you are you suggesting to us that you are represented by counsel who never spoke to you before your trial? Yes, that was what happened. In fact, at that time, you could not find any single lawyer who was uh, brave enough to defend us because everybody was terrified of the government. So you were prosecuted and convicted. Yes. You were sentenced to what? We were the ones that were first sentenced to death under Yajemel's government. June 20, June, June 20, 1990. Our court was, was only three months left. Our court, our court was very quick, not more than. Uh, Three months. They did not allow any lawyer to be present there. There was no lawyer in our court until the end of. You the mean what happened to Mr. Raymond Sok? Didn't he appear? Salam, Mr. Raymond Sok no court. Fatim and Naluani. Okay, Kabil been sentenced, la baby. Yes, when we were being sentenced, he was there. How about the trial? And Kitiyo Watu. Kitiyo Watu, la baby. During the trial, he was there. So what do you mean by there was no lawyer? This lawyer stood for us. This How did you plead to the charges? Well, if you we, we hear someone accepting uh, allegations is something that one has done. Our case was critical, counsel. Because the way our problem happened was, when 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 uh, the, the the drummer's feet is on the the stick that they used to beat, the drum does not make noise. <laughs> you can't drum at all. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, did you plead guilty or you pleaded not guilty? We did not. What you said that you you confessed on national television. That you did it. Moses on television, but not at a court. Some one can accept over television, but when we go to court, what for us are no longer a court. I mean, for maybe a man can say what. The court may also be able to come to the conclusion that perhaps what he said was not through his own will. But in any case. Uh, 
They said they killed some people in Gambia here and they ran and entered into Senegal. They went, arrested them there, chained them and brought them in that fashion up to Malto. But God always says with the truth. They have not done wrong and uh, anything wrong. I'm so when they went to court, they were all acquitted. Christian, only, Christian, only Abdurrahman spent 15 years. Christian no love from Kodulu Biji, only Abdurrahman Mako, from all Anatan. Sangitani no, to Madame Najana Balba, 15 years. He was in jail for 15 years and he never went to court. It was an, a Christian organization. Mr. Witness, could you kindly allow for interpretation so we can have the full gist of what you said? <laughs> Pardon me, it's the machine that is heated. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Sam, we have the floor. Mardamfa, the Hako Daniel and the Yamfu Fanan Daniel, but I mean, for a loud Alasa Jo. We uh, express our sympathies for the hardship that you have gone through, and you were rewarded by God. I want to ask you about your family, because well, the time that you went uh, to meet Kukoe, I don't think your family knew about your whereabouts until the time that you were taken to prison. I want you to uh, clarify that portion for me. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Okay. Well, human beings' affairs are in the hands of God. I said here earlier on that my first wife was a Senegalese. I think when I left here, until I got into all of these problems, I think it was her relatives that were assisting her. But she sat, she sat and waited. But then I said to my mother, Someone that has sat down for six years, and here I am, I have been condemned to be killed. I have given her, uh, her, her, her freedom. If she sees a man that she wants to marry, she can go ahead and get married. But, but how they were living in terms of their sustenance, I cannot say anything about it. It looks like you don't have any child. I have, I had one, uh, I had two, one died at a young age and I only have a daughter now left. Okay, thank you very much. I'm okay to vote. Yeah. She become a, a source of a greater numbers for you. Commissioner Carr, you had a vote. Nice. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I have two questions I want to ask. The first one is, if you've interacted with Kukwe, what kind of person would you say he is? How would you describe him? Thank you so much, Commissioner. When you betray a human being, God will betray you. There is no crooked person of, uh, the, in the whole world. There is none that I have ever seen in this world. The reason why I am saying this to you, you take people's children and uh, thrust them in the midst of battle. You don't even consider their rights. You don't even consider their their sustenance, you have no sympathy for them, and then you remove them from that situation and put them into yet another thing. When we were imprisoned, this is your question, is a very good one. Kugwe came here, he sat down with the Ajami and he had a discussion. 
Oje wosu ni newspaper jela. Ako eko je. Yonda mfanyo lube tano nuloka soko ni nyadi ni kukwe na agambe jela mfiriri. Oje was the only one who wrote that on the newspaper and we saw that. He said, how can Kukwe come and meet with the IGM when John Dunf and the others are in jail? And no one to nyadi. And that was the truth. Ate mune folie. What did he say to them? Ako ndolo kumule jata maamantu lumana kumule bila ngala dokumenso sunyan ni mboro na dada. He said we are headstrong. He could not control us in Liberia. We stole his documents and we came to the Gambia. And that was not the truth. All the problems that we got into was as a result of Pukwe. You say he wasn't a trustworthy person. He wasn't somebody that could be trusted. He was not a trustworthy person. He was not a trustworthy person. He was not a trustworthy person. Thank you, Commissioner Kaa. You are touching something here. You see, even while I was in Liberia, we used to and pray to God. And that prayer is what God answered. We used to say that, I will be here. If I told I will go to the Gambia, is to bring trouble or mayhem to the Gambia. Let God not take us. That was our peace. If we had allowed Kukwe to have peace and it became a leader in Gambia here, it wouldn't have been good. Final question is, you mentioned that there were many Gambians who had senior positions in, in, in various factions in, in Liberia. Yes, I was one of them. And I would say to them that if you are not a leader, including um, Kukwe himself, do you know how they came to to Liberia and how they became so powerful there? Yalo na intano da Liberia niari lafu e sembo soroje. Ah yalo ni but Liberia kuko ning chal silo bele bodo na ni Liberia eh 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 jana Libya Libya no Maktaba kuko and chal silo both came from Libya so we tole na tanyola they came together but kanata na kuko intala ni na kumu bete atari. But don't, don't uh, judge him by what I'm saying. He's a very smart Liberia. The, the fighting in Liberia or the war, half of it, half of it was controlled by him. And Charles Stilo is someone who do know that. He's not like these other leaders. To push other children, people's children in, in and, and stay behind. Chancelo will carry his AK himself. And he goes to the battlefront himself. We stopped him ourselves because he, he was, uh, the jet fighters wanted to kill him. That was, what, that, is, that was why we told him to stop going because he was not like others. We would give others and then stay behind. Thank you and sorry for what you went through. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Damfa. Two very short um, questions. Mr. Damfa, in Mbarabake, you car full of embul suruma. Despite that you encountered in the car, uh, how did you know that um, uh, she was a spy, and uh, where did she come from? Any more Muslims may take me to Dakar. Iri alo nyari to kukulu su nyalala. Chairman. Chairman. Baraka Baraka. Thank you very much. Hadama dung kumu hakilu nyinta tamara. Ayanta hadama dung nyinta smart la baraka. A human being your brain ought to be spot. Alaya hadama dung so already. God has endowed a human being. A tulita from Mari Lepo. It is left to you, yourself. Muso nyi. The woman. Kabrinte nyabu itaka. When I set my eyes on her, where I was, I felt I knew it. He said, she said she came to look for the mother. But that was not her reason for coming. I said she came down from the, the, uh, the, the study building before you talk about two minutes. These guys came to arrest us. They sent her to find out because I had arrested her on. They, they told her to go to this house. There are two individuals there and they gave them our description. And and no sooner has she left than these people come to arrest us. So that was why I said she was a spy. 
Mike, Mike. Apologies. When you went to Matu Liberia with uh, other Gambians, Ayajame was not in power in the Gambia. What was it that motivated you young guys to be involved in uh, uh, overthrowing governments, literally causing mayhem in the sub-region, whether or not um, all of you started your activities in uh, Libya or not. Sankare, Rawlings, Taylor, you name it, for the Sanko. A lot of problems um, in the region. Sankare, Sankara, Sankara, Rollins, and him for the Sanko. Sanko, so the Sanko. What was the motivating factor? Muna Muhammad called the member of Kuwenyi Mkoto. Muna Alhamdi Kabula Kuwenyi Mkoto. Thank you very much. Ma Kumasile Liberia. I'll start off from Liberia. Yeah, ma'am. Liberia is a very blessed country. Liberia, thirteen counties live in Liberia. There are thirteen counties in Liberia. And I worked, traverse all of them. Nico iron ore. If you talk about iron ore, it's in Liberia. And if you look at the car tires, you'll see firestone. Firestone in Liberia. Firestone is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. It's a diamond in Liberia. If you come to the side of diamond, it's in Liberia. Babul can in Africa more more than can bring Dunia lot and to the to Babul no better than can to Babul the drum. Europeans used to come to capture Africans since time immemorial, and we have continuously remained in that situation, <laughs> suffering and just been uh, wasted. So come on, for Liberia. I can tell you one thing about Liberia. The way I know Liberia, even the citizens of Liberia don't know much about that country. And until it's all Liberia. And my going to Liberia. Maybe you see Gambia no, you see only Hako dying no. Maybe I can uh, uh, seek forgiveness from Gambia. But today, if uh, someone tells me go and uh, rescue Liberians from suffering, I'll do it. I want you to listen to me carefully, sir. Liberia Liberia is for all. Liberia. There's only one highway from Bon County, uh, Ganta. From Bon County, Ganta. Ata Morovia. Going up to Monrovia. From Monrovia. From Monrovia. Ata Bichama. Going to Bichama. Liberia Mumobe. Very serious. Liberia is all gravel road. And Liberia is a rich country. And Liberia is a rich country. So where is the resources going to? They will not allow Charles Taylor to, to be in Liberia. Your this question is pleasing to me. Let us be wise as Africans. The reason why they will not allow Charles Taylor to stay in Liberia, Liberia la iron ore. the iron ore of Liberia, 100 years he will sign. They said they signed a 100 year iron ore of Banco Sabalaso. They had a 100 year lease and uh, it is found in three mountains. It's in Kepa. It's in Kepa. It's in Kepa. It's in Kepa. Every coast has Liberia. it. Liberia has it. The mountain, someone can climb up. But every year, fire breaks from, from the top there, and nobody knows how the fire starts. That's Liberia mining it. The other countries have not mined. But I remember Liberia no come. The suffering uh, that is on the people of Liberia. Who can take that off Liberia? Or will Liberians remain in this situation? 
Nous sommes bébés vous. And they have everything. But the white people are fooling them. When Charles Selo was in power, he controlled Firestone. What was he doing there? When they used to pay you 1,000 JJ, because we use uh, two currencies there. Our money is JJ. The one in uh, Monrovia is Liberty. For those who worked at Firestone, they were paid 1,000. 500 would be US. 500 would be US. 500 JJ. 500 JJ. I will, I will introduce me He introduced that there. Europeans will not like this. War is not good. But war too makes other places. Africans, let's rise up and do something about our situation. There's nothing in the Gambia, but Gambia is more developed than Liberia. There's nothing in Liberia which I can admire. And whatever you think of Liberia has it. Why was it that during the course of the war, they did not uh, do the court, uh, the, 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 the trials in Liberia, and so they, and they took the This lady that's just left the presidency, she worked under you, she was on the UN. I read a little bit about her. Very headstrong woman, she, Samuel Dodd disturbed her a lot. He locked her several times. And she was even supporting Charles Tello then. That was why if they want to trial Charles Tello about yeah. Liberian affairs, they realize that if they want to use that, many people will be involved. And that was why they took it to Sierra Leone. Africans, let's open our eyes. All our lives we live in poverty when, in fact, we have everything that we need. I think those people ought to fight to achieve their peace. They took Taylor to. Sierra Leone is no longer um, a secret that the Sierra Leone, Tijan Kaba and Ellen Johnson Salif were um, persuading um, the powers that be to move Taylor from the region, from the sub region West Africa, from Sierra Leone and, um, to uh, Liberia, I mean to, to, to The Hague. Uh, I don't want to get into the thing the council is very much aware of um, uh, what really happened in that area. But let me just ask them uh, one last time a question. Oh, sorry. The, um, uh, the uh, um, uh, the friendship between Jame and Taylor, when did it come um, start? You guys were in uh, Liberia and in to the Gambia to try to overthrow Jammeh. Uh, how did he become uh, a friend of um, uh, Charles Taylor? Uh, the only way that I can tell you is that Well, by what I heard, there's something between them. I don't know what it is, but what I heard, that some of Charles Taylor's weapons were with Jame here. I heard that before, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But uh, if you see Charles Taylor telling us to go back because Jame has uh, launched a coup, I suspect that there is something between them. Uh, Mr. Chair, I think that is wild speculation, so, so we should consign it into the basket of speculation. Thank you. Absolutely. I think we know what really happened at some point. I wanted to just um, hear from you what you thought the perspective was. You were on the ground. There were lots of things that uh, were coming out that uh, uh, perhaps you weren't. Uh, but again, thank you so much, Emma, for coming to 
uh, testify before the uh, commission. If you have any final remarks to make, please proceed. Ani kavi nimbara vake. Purila songo la purka ni la se di anirodi commission la. Ani kavi ninga atre kuma soro bila fe la kumo da soro mela. Isi tenda iya. Alhamdulillah bila. Is God. I'm Mario Tendrishinya Saba. I thank my maker three times. Kabin TRRC master. Since the inception of the TRRC, I don't say that it happens in uh, I have never, I, I have not uh, been following, uh, follow, I have not been following everything, but not uh, many occasions. You are doing a good job. TRRC is not the first time it's happening. But since it was uh, established, there has been a lot of talk. You know, there is something about Gambians. And that is what is uh, surprising me or mm. about human beings. Mm. If you don't speak the truth, you will speak lies. How many years did Jawara spend here and uh, there was no TRRC that was established? If you see the TRRC being established, something happened. So, therefore, what should we do? Okay. Let us allow the TRRC to do its work and hold him on the belief that what happened, let it not happen again. Even God, who created human beings, he forgives. If uh, God is uh, follow us, if God used to follow us, then at this time, the whole world would have been completely destroyed. Because every day we are doing contrary things to his wishes. But God does not look at that. So let the people take TRRC as people who come to make peace everlasting in this country. Many things have been said. That people have been paid to go there and testify. And what they say is this and this. And yesterday, what was happening when people have been taken to court? All of that happened in the presence of war. But no one spoke. So for me, what I can say to the people especially now, especially Gambians, let us allow the TRRC to do its work. They are seeking for peace for this country. The water that has spilled cannot we say, be, be recovered. TRRC is seeking for the truth and they will establish the truth. So I appeal to the citizens of this country. There is a lot of talk, but let us allow the TRRC to do its work. Yes, they have been uh, selected to do their work and they are doing a very fine job. There's one thing I want to say. They were very surprised with Gambians. For 22 years, you don't hear anyone speak. So now everybody wants to become a Greek. Charles Silo, this is what he used to say. He used to say that was, that was his motto. He used to say when things were tough, where were you? And that is what is happening here now. Yesterday, people were scared to speak. Today, everybody is a speaker. That is surprising. So I appeal to the people of the country. Let us allow the TRRC to do its work. It's peace that they want to do. Uh, and we pray to God that, uh, the, that the mission that they have embarked on, that he will bless them and enable them to complete it, uh, in, in, to complete it well. Uh, for, uh, apart from that, I will now appeal to the entire Gambian population, the citizens of this country. When you see things happening in the country, you have to say it. I am aware of what was happening in Jawara's government. The election contest between Sirif Diva and Jawara. 
and there was very nice then. Da malka tula nyu sai sai yara. We used to play around with each other. You must find it real ko siran kick siran kilin nam. This is something we had you had you have only one seat by any comfort now. Even if a hundred people are sitting for it, there is only one person who is student. And people unite and become one. And look out for that doesn't mean that you should be enemies. Let's look at other countries and see the example, see how they are. The way they are Managing their affairs. Let's also try and manage our affairs in that manner. We don't have any other country. Other than so I appeal to him for that. Lastly, many people came here. They did not say it or they have forgotten. Mile two. Mile two. Yeah, I hear you be. Let him look at it. Mile two. Mile two. But unlike you, I appeal to him. Let him look. Take a look at it. Many take a look. Kasibala. Many take a kasibala. Many sentences so sad. Those who have long sentences, I will put you by a bala fast away. Let him look at their cases and have some sympathy for them. Former president Jami. Former president Jami. I record the break. He broke a record. Okay, Mr. Bani, for Abula. Three hundred people and more. He released. Eight sentences left. Some were on the death life sentence, sentence some them. life sentence, Dole 20 years, them. some 20 years. They are out now with their wives and children and they are engaged in their activities. So I appeal on their behalf, let him pardon them. Please let him pardon them. Maltu is not, is not easy. Maltu is not easy. If you don't spend a long time there, you wouldn't know. Many came here to the TRRC. They spoke, but they did not talk on about the Maltu. When I sit down, sometimes I want to cry. Maltu is not for you at all. Especially confinement. Number five. Number five. Number five. That is a cemetery. Women to the roof of Saint Jel 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 Jel. People are there for many many years. And human beings are not perfect. All those that they are pardoned in 2015. I have not heard of one single one of them who has returned back to the world. Maybe those who do the small men pardon. Small thefts here who are taken and brought back. But those that were pardoned, many of them know that what they have done, they regretted it. So I appeal to the president to look at them because mile two is not a good place. Those who have been there for a long time, let him have mercy for them and release them. This is my statement. Thank you very much for those remarks, Mr. Danfa. The first three points that you mentioned concerning the TRRC, that uh, there is a lot of talk um, down in the country. Well, this is the era of um, free speech and uh, free expression. They can say whatever they want to say. But we have been saying from this um, hall here that there is um, a tremendous public support um, for the Commission. And the work that it, it is doing. And it's not just um, limited um, to what is going on here in the Gambia. Yeah. That our friends and partners outside are also following the developments here. So I think there is some support for the work that we are doing. And the second point, those who allege that them Witnesses are paid to come here. I wish we had money to do that. <laughs> and uh, uh, the last point, um, 
since our establishment, we have not had any interference from the authorities uh, here. We do not work. We cooperate with them, uh, uh, them in the areas that we would need to cooperate with them. But interfering with the work, uh, no, they are allowing us to do our work very freely. Everybody would hear it if there is any interference with what we are doing. But again, thank you so much um, for your testimony. For um, coming to uh, uh, appear before us. This brings us um, to the end of the proceedings um, for today. We will resume tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much. Our meeting is adjourned. Melanin dripping, we do have stuff for you as well. And when you see skincare products like Nyung Tichu Vitamin, and Funnel in your yard, in fact, sir, last commercial being the phone, what will you want in your doctor? A cover, nine A grade, right? Like, wow, we do have bundles as well. Hair, sit on your dog, you can get a little jiggy and wreck, literal jiggy and wreck. Wow, what on the tukey jam it? Book on that classic suitcase, you can get your doctor A Samsonite. Bring they into any brown of suitcases though other than Samsonite. Come lima dey wahrek. Bo ege airport. Dere Samsonite. Def amnu la hole. Wow. Ngen de lan nak. Wow. Um skin. Ci mom lañu gëna xamé nak skin care products. Ci mom lañu gëna xamé ñu ngi dox tamit bente tamit ci ay dal. Man way man nak skin care moy sama specialty. Xam nga rek tikeen bu sa xarkanam réglé lo def mu jek. Am nañ um Patricia Reina, Kiwi Eye the whole range, Lighten up gold. Um, the tomatine, I mean, the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lipo lo han reglu yi taral jigin la, ki yoyu rek la nyodok. Skin care plus nek, emu yin si Gambia rek, nyungo United States, nyungi Gambia fi, be pare, bude yangi anywhere in Europe, moun nain la ku mail. Within three days rek, nyeti fan rek, nga jot say diw. Emu yin si lo rek, den la consult temi. Bala ni la jay diw, then they have a free consultation for what exactly what you want to do. Then they have a free consultation for what you want to do.